Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you the invoice web application, the invoice web dashboard, where you can easily create the invoice for your customers and also you can check out that of your all invoices. So without wasting your time, let me show you these all features step by step. I just log out here and click on this refresh icon. So when I refresh my web application, as of now, you can see I am successfully refreshed and the login screen in front of me. Okay, so in our Google Sheet, we have a lot of child sheets. So you can see here the user sheet is basically used for save the username or password. If you want to add a more user, you can easily add out that from your sheet directly. Okay, so I just my uh, enter my username and password and click uh, on this login. So when I click on this login, as of now, you can see I am successfully being login. So I just close this and uh, go to our new invoice. So when I go to my new invoice, as of now, you can see the invoice double V003 is successfully done. Why, it, why this comes? As of now, you can see in our invoices, we have the invoice 001 and invoice 002 already. So the next invoice number is 3. So it, the invoice will, the number is automatically increment, increment in our previous one. Okay. So this is the from as I explained in my previous video, you can change it by using uh, go to your index.html by line number uh, this particular 475 to 47 and you can easily change out that particular predefined or by default text. Okay. So bill 2 is that item. For example, this is a company from where you generate the invoice and this is a person uh, from uh, to which you give the invoice. You just need to enter their name and their details. Okay, now all set. Now the invoice date is by default today and the due date you can select on which date he will due. Okay, select the payment method, the PTM or the Binance as you select what you want. How you can add the payment method in this drop down uh, dynamically, you go to your drop down sheet and you can add the payment methods here. For example, I add uh, the I add the PayPal, okay. I add the PayPal, I add the YZ, okay. That's fine. So when we refresh our web application, so it will automatically come, I will show you. So when, uh, once I submitted this invoice, because half of our procedure is done. So as of now, you can see here, this is a invoice where we can add the items. So how you can add the items, go to your item sheets and in this sheet, A column for the item name and B column for the item price so you can add here uh, easily okay so we have added uh, one more feature which is not available in our previous video and our previous version of our invoice the drop down or search now you can search or drop down both fun functionalities on the same time for example i select seo so you can see here the seo is done i just click on this add item and i just select here the logo so you can see here the logo comes here okay now all okay i need to enter the text details 18 percent so as of now if i want to add uh, any notes or tongues i can easily add them okay i when i click on this print invoice so as of now you can see here the invoice is still professional which is required for businesses okay understand now we just click on this save invoice so when we click on this save invoice so it will saving our invoice to our database loading next invoice number okay you can see here the next invoice number is automatically load and the invoice we have created we just go to our all invoices and right now we can select here the double zero three and click on this filter and search because double zero three is available uh too many places so it will not comes if we need to enter full details it will come okay now you just need to click on this view or edit so when you click on this view or edit you can see here your uh, invoice is loaded for the updating what mean for the updating if a customer want to add a one more item for example hourly consulting you can simply add click on this update invoice so when you click on this update invoice as of now your invoice is being successfully updated so when you go to your invoicing section you can also filter out the data 
okay i just select here and i just select it here and click on this filter cancel because all the invoices will lie in that particular date so all the items will come here okay go to the change password you need to enter your current password and you need to enter your new password so when you need to when you enter a new password so as of now you can see update password the password is going to be changed okay password change successfully we go to our user sections and now the password is successfully being changed so in this way you can generate our invoices for your customers and for your businesses okay uh, hope you like this video and if you not subscribe our channel uh, still you can subscribe it uh, we will uh, if you have uh, any kind of web application idea and you want we will build on using google so you can add script please leave a comment that particular idea we will focus on them and we will create them for you okay thank you very much take care